Jonathan from Rain Brothers here, rainbrothers.com. We're going to install this pump today in this plastic uh, cistern here. And this is a, a bit of an unusual application. We have this pump supplying pressure to a drip irrigation system for this high tunnel. And if you know anything about drip systems, you know that they need a maximum of 10 PSI of water pressure. Um, and this pump, of course, this is our Springer Series half horsepower traditional pump. This is designed to do a whole lot more than 10 PSI. So if we run this pump straight into the irrigation, and even if we put a pressure regulator in the system, it's going to deadhead the pump and potentially cause damage because that excess pressure and excess flow have nowhere to go. So it's just going to build up against the pump and create uh, create problems with the, with the pump itself. So what what we do in this case is we do a couple things. One, we put in a half inch pressure relief valve right here. This is just teed off of the supply line coming out of the pump. This pressure relief valve, if the pressure inside this plumbing reaches 100 PSI, this pressure relief valve is spring loaded and will open and blow out excess pressure. And of course, because this is right above the pump, this is all going to be inside the cistern. So that excess pressure is just going to blow in the cistern itself, uh, which is exactly where we want it to go. Then second, uh, a secondary system, we have a second T here with a a straight line to a one inch uh, quarter turn valve. And what we're gonna do here is this valve uh, will be inside the cistern, but is gonna be accessible through a, we're gonna, we're gonna drill a hole in the top of the cistern. And this is gonna be, this, this four inch SDR 35 is gonna be like a valve box to give us access to this valve. And of course at the, uh, at grade level, we're just going to pop this cap on so that nothing can get in the cistern. But what we're going to do is with this valve box open, we're giving the customer a water key that he can use to turn this valve. Um, and and the, the goal here is not to have the valve fully open or fully closed, but to have a, a throttling option. So we can, because again, he's not using much pressure and much flow for his drip irrigation, we want to give that excess pressure, excess flow a place to go. We don't want to rely on this pressure relief valve. This is just this is just here for emergencies. So we're going to leave this valve uh, about a quarter of the way open so that it, the pump is primarily supplying that drip irrigation system, but then there's a blowout here for that excess pressure and excess flow. Because again, this, pre this pump can generate 10 gallons per minute at 60 PSI. Drip irrigation needs 10 PSI and is going to probably use somewhere around two gallons a minute, um, if that. So we really want that excess pressure, excess flow to discharge back into the cistern. And then the reason we create the valve box uh, for the customer here is he may, he may end up wanting to open this valve a little further, a little further. And at, at some point, it, it probably won't be fully open, but it may be 90% of the way open and still supply enough water and still supply enough water for his drip irrigation system. And this will just prolong the life of the pump. Um, and it's just a good practice to have that relief port feeding back. Now, we do have an automatic pump. We have a half horsepower automatic pump that automatically turns on and off based on uh, an open or closed valve. But of course, because we're creating this pressure relief system, we want the traditional pump and we're going to wire this. Of course, we have a float switch that will turn the pump off when the water level gets low, but we're going to wire this ultimately to a cord end so that he can plug it in uh, into, a, uh, into a receptacle and, and he's going to actually unplug or plug in the pump when he wants to water so he that's that's his instead of using a, an automatic irrigation valve he's he's literally just going to plug in or unplug the pump to run it and then that will in turn run the irrigation system when it cycles over he's going to unplug the system alternatively he could plug this into a, a timer um, and set the set the time to run say 20 minutes a day 
and let the timer automatically uh, cut off the circuit when the 20 minutes is expired. So this is just a, a quick hack of uh, how to create an effective pumping system for your drip irrigation system.